I'm involved in CML since now 35 years and at that time we started randomized clinical trials comparing fusulfan and hydroxyurea. Things got much better when interferon became available and even better when tyrosine kinase inhibitors, TKI, became available end of the 90s. And I'm personally involved in a randomized clinical trials analyzing imatinib in combination or at various doses since 2002. And the situation in CML right now is quite different from that 30 years ago. 30 years ago, every patient virtually died of her or his disease. Nowadays, the life expectancy with CML compared to the normal general population is 92%. That means most of the patients with CML have a normal life expectancy and need not die of their disease.